Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Richo Ruto, our guest speaker, the speakers of both houses of both houses. God is good. And all the time. And pray. The power of prayer has been individually and collectively as a nation. President William Ruto and I were prayed into office by the people of Kenya, and our administration continues to thrive arising from prayers from the people of Kenya. When we came into office, we had the worst drought in 40 years after five failed consecutive seasons. And through prayer, God gave us rains, indeed, beyond our fair share. Through prayer, we have now food security and the country is moving in the right direction. I am a living testimony of the power of prayer. You all know I have a resident pastor 24-7. And therefore, I don't want to delve in matters biblical because I have somebody who advises me on those matters. And I would like to capture the place of prayer in our lives and as a nation through reading a verse in Jeremiah 29 from verse 11 to 14. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I'll be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity. I'll gather you from all nations and from all places where I've driven you, says the Lord, and I'll bring you to the place from which I cause you to be carried away captive. That is the word of the Lord. Your Excellency, before I call you to speak to us and to speak to the country, allow me to digress just a little about your highly successful trip to the United States. Kenyans were very proud of the way Your speech, your kizungu ilikuwa sawa kabisa. And uh, Kenyans were very happy that you put Kenya on the world map and the gains that you negotiated for the country. But your Excellency, allow me, as a truth of man, to tell you, there was a little challenge rising from your trip to most of us here. All Kenyans who are monitoring what you are doing in the States. And there is something that you're doing there that created problems to many husbands across the country. When you are walking there holding the hand of the first lady, <laughs> it put us back here under a lot of immense pressure. Your Excellency, our spouses, <laughs> led by mine, Pastor Dockers, were demanding 
that we emulate the president <laughs> and hold their hand wherever we go. Mine, and you know she's a pastor, even went beyond that I walk her to the car. She was even saying around the house I hold her hand. <laughs> and I was not alone. Najua Musali, we call each other Omwami. Kaniambia Omwami, hii maneno hii ya kushikana mikono. Kwako inaeza lete shida vile imeleta kwangu. Nikawambia Musali ya kwangu diyo tabu hiko mingi saidi. So your excellency, we had that challenge. But I knew because I know you, you will solve that problem for us when you come back. I was certain, I was sure. And uh, this morning you did just that. As uh, we welcomed you from your car to the hold room to here, you are walking fast with me chatting. As Bamarecho was trying to catch up with you as we came to this room. So the matter is sorted. That was an American thing. But, <laughs> uh, Your Excellency, at least, uh, at least so my wife, Pastor Dokas, always not lost. Very soon, I, the President uh, will send me to the States for my assignment. I'll go with you. You have my assurance that for the time we shall be in the American soil. I'll hold your hand until we leave the country. But when we come back, please, let's go back to our lives. Your Excellency, finally, although you have sorted the problem for us, ukiwa rafiki yangu na mtu wangu lazima ni kuibia siri, ni mefata habari, kwa hiyo maneno, utaitwa kwa men conference, halafu, utajipu. With those very many remarks, please be upstanding, and I'll assist me to usher in our president with clapping Dr. William